By our count, there are well over 300 brands of RVs in North America. More if you include tiny home makers and park model RVs. But the vast majority of RVs sold today are really under the umbrella of four or so large parent companies that own them. In this video, we're going to share who makes what and some insights about how those companies operate. I'm Jason. And I'm Abby. Welcome to RV Miles, where we talk about road trip travel, camping, and the RV industry. If you like the info we provide here, please click the like button. It helps YouTube show it to more people. And if when we're through, you decide you want more videos like this, consider hitting the subscribe button to get notified when we put new videos out. This is the beginning of a whole series on RV brands that we're excited to share with you. We know there's not a lot of information to differentiate the makes and models out there, and we'd like to help Bring some clarity to the table. And while it may be common knowledge that most RV brands are owned by larger companies, many don't realize these companies are all organized in different ways. Some are publicly traded corporations that are required to make public their sales and financial information for their investors. Some are privately held and not so open. Others are entirely independent. We're going to run down the major players and how they operate, but we are bound to miss a few of your favorites. But first, this video is sponsored by Wholesale Warranties. The cost of RV repair is only going up. Modern RVs require skilled labor and more technologically advanced parts than ever before, driving up the cost of repairs. Protect yourself from these rising costs with RV coverage you can count on. Wholesale Warranties offers reliable coverage, personalized service, five-star customer reviews, and the flexibility to take your RV to any licensed repair facility in the US or Canada, including mobile mechanics. Get a free quote by visiting wholesalewarranties.com or give them a call at 800-939-2806 and enjoy peace of mind for the road ahead. Let's begin with the largest RV maker in the world, Thor Industries. Thor essentially began the acquisition craze when it was founded in 1980 with the purchase and revitalization of the failing Airstream brand. It's now a publicly traded corporation headquartered in Elkhart, Indiana, with other manufacturing hubs in half a dozen different states. Their 17 RV manufacturing companies span the gamut from high-end Class A motorhomes to entry-level travel trailers. And to add some confusion to the pile, Thor's individual companies may be owned by each other. Many brands acquired other brands over the years and still use those nameplates. Thor companies are left to operate pretty much on their own with support from headquarters. They're even encouraged to compete with each other. Each division handles its own sales, manufacturing, and research and development. Thor's companies include Airstream, which makes the iconic silver luxury travel trailers and Class B and B Plus motorhomes. Heartland, which has nearly 20 different nameplates of towables, including travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers, ranging from entry level to high end. Heartland also owns Cruiser RV, maker of six different lines of travel trailers and a luxury fifth wheel maker, DRV. Keystone is a manufacturer of travel trailers and fifth wheel brands, including Cougar, Laredo, Passport, and Sprinter, along with the top selling Montana fifth wheel. Towable maker Dutchman is a division of Keystone and has lines like Kodiak, Voltage, and the Coleman branded line of trailers. Crossroads RV makes travel trailers and fifth wheels. Redwood Luxury Fifth Wheels are a division of Crossroads, a subsidiary of Keystone, which is a subsidiary of Thor. Are you taking notes? Because there will be a test at the end of this video. Thor's Integra Coach makes higher end motorhomes of all classes. Highland Ridge makes travel trailers and fifth wheels, including the open range lineup. Jayco makes pretty much every major type of RV. Their J-Flight travel trailers have been the industry bestseller for 15 years. KZ makes all sorts of towables, including Connect, Sportster, and Venom. Venture RV, maker of lightweight and ultralight travel trailers, is a subsidiary of KZ. Do you see a theme here? Subsidiary. That's, <laughs> that's your goal there. When you hear that, just write something down. <laughs> Starcraft makes entry-level and mid-range travel trailers and fifth wheels. Tiffin Motorhomes is the latest addition to the Thor family of companies and makes luxury Class A coaches, along with Wayfarer Class C. Van Lee, a division of Tiffin, makes fifth wheels. Thor Motor Coach, the only brand with Thor in the name, makes motorhomes of all sizes, types, and price points, including the top-selling 
Four Winds Class C. Thor also owns Erwin Heimer Group, which has 24 of its own brands, mostly European RV manufacturers. Heimer RVs have been off and on in North America over the last several years due to reasons too difficult to get into here, but you should expect to see more. Heimer USA was announced before the pandemic and was supposed to bring models to the US by the end of last year. That brings us to the end of Thor Industries RV brands. They also own a handful of other companies that are travel related, including Togo RV and Road Trippers. Next up is Forest River. Forest River's nearly 50 brands are organized differently than Thor's. They're a bit more integrated. Forest River is a subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway, the conglomerate holding company chaired by billionaire Warren Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway wholly owns Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, Fruit of the Loom, and more, along with partial ownerships of Pilot Flying J, American Express, Coca-Cola, Bank of America, and Apple. There are a few main divisions within Forest River, and some of their brands are organized into groups that leverage their size for benefits like purchasing power and marketing but all their RVs are on the same website. So we'll just break them out by their main divisions. A few Forest River nameplates are identical to each other. It's a game that some manufacturers play in order to be able to sell the same unit at a different dealership in the same area. We'll start off with Coachman, which is one of the top selling brands all around, especially among motorhomes like the Encore and the Murata. They also make pop-ups and a whole host of travel trailers and Chaparral and Brookstone fifth wheels. Forest River's Primetime Manufacturing makes travel trailers and fifth wheels. Palomino makes the Columbus fifth wheel, Puma trailers of all types, several truck campers, and more. Shasta makes lightweight travel trailers and Phoenix fifth wheels. Dynamax makes Class C and Super C motorhomes, which are like a regular Class C, but on a commercial truck chassis. East to West is a fairly new brand that makes a trim line of travel trailers, fifth wheels, and Class Cs. Every other Forest River brand is under the Forest River RV line, which I know is confusing. <laughs> it all shakes out to how brands and factories were acquired over the years. Forest River RV has Cherokee, which is one of the top selling towable makers. Cherokee also makes Alpha Wolf, Arctic Wolf, Gray Wolf, Wolfpack, and Wolf Pup. Forest River RV has travel trailer brands Ozark, Aurora, Evo, Surveyor, Sonoma, Independence Trail, and Vibe. Fifth wheel brands include Sabre, Cedar Creek, Sandpiper, Cardinal, Impression, Sierra, and Riverstone. Wildcat makes both conventional travel trailers and fifth wheels. As do Wildwood and Salem, which are virtually identical lines of towables made in the same factory, with Heritage Glen and Hemisphere as their respective upgraded fiberglass lines. Jayco's J Flight line may technically be the top selling travel trailer, but if you combined Wildwood and Salem, they'd be on top. Similarly, Rockwood and Flagstaff are nearly identical towable lines with Shamrock and Rue pop-ups and GeoPro and ePro single axle adventure trailers. Other Forest River adventure travel trailers include R-Pod, No Boundaries, and Ibex. Forest River makes a ton of toy haulers, both as conventional travel trailers and as fifth wheels, under the names XLR, Vengeance, Work and Play, Stealth, Shockwave, and Sandstorm. Forest River Motorhomes includes Berkshire Diesel Pushers, FR3 and Georgetown Gas Class A's, and Sunseeker, Solera, and Forester Class C's. Forest River also makes a whole host of shuttle buses, cargo trailers, and pontoon boats. Between Forest River brands and Thor brands, that's over 80% of RVs sold on the market. But there are still some other big players like Winnebago. Winnebago is the king of Class A and Class B motorhome sales by far, with models at many different price points. Class A's include the Forza, Journey, Adventurer, Sunstar, and Inspire. Class B's include the Solus, Travato, Era, Revel, and Bolt. They have many Class C motorhomes and a trim line of towables including the Mini, the Micro Mini, Voyage Travel Trailers, and Fifth Wheels, and the Hike Adventure Trailer. Winnebago owns Grand Design, a very popular towable brand with names like the Transcend, Imagine, Reflection, and Solitude, along with Momentum Toy Haulers. Winnebago also recently acquired high-end Class A maker Numar, solidifying their spot as king of Class A motorhome manufacturers. 
Winnebago also owns Chris Craft Boats and makes specialty vehicles like blood banks and bookmobiles. They're proud of their accessibility enhanced motorhomes helping to get people living with disabilities on the road. Another major player is Rev Group, which has Class A motorhome brands Holiday Rambler, Monaco, American Coach, and Fleetwood. Rev's Renegade brand makes Class C and Super C motorhomes, and their Midwest automotive designs make custom Sprinter van conversions. Rev owns Lance, makers of some of the best truck campers and small travel trailers out there. Those are the main parent companies that make the vast majority of RVs. If your head is spinning, welcome to the club. It is amazing we can come up with so many different ways to say RV. So who's left? There are hundreds of small niche independent brands which we could never cover, but there are some more major ones that you should know about. Gulfstream is a family owned company that sells 22 brands of RVs, including Conquest, Innsbruck, Amerilite, Gulf Breeze, and Vintage Cruiser. Alliance is a new maker of fifth wheels. And in Oregon, two brands make four season towables. Outdoors RV makes travel trailers and travel trailer toy haulers. Northwood Manufacturing makes travel trailers, fifth wheels, and truck campers. Most notably, the Arctic Fox line. New Horizons is a family owned and operated company that makes four season fifth wheels in Junction City, Kansas. There are several very high end motor coach makers like Marathon Coach, Liberty Coach, and Newell Coach. In Canada, Pleasure Way and Road Truck make Class B camper vans, and Leisure Travel Vans make some very popular Class B Plus models. Casita, Scamp, and Oliver make great small fiberglass trailers. Sylvan Sport makes unique travel trailers and ultralight pop-ups, as does Taxa Outdoors. Storyteller Overland, Earth Cruiser, and Earth Roamer make very expensive off-road <laughs> overlanding vehicles, while Black Series makes truly off-road travel trailers. A-Liner makes unique pop-up trailers. And New Camp and Travel Light make teardrops and truck campers. We've surely missed a few of your favorite brands because there are definitely dozens more. And as interesting as who owns what is, we think it's important to mention that parent companies don't really matter much. These big companies that own lots of brands are manufacturing at lots of different quality levels and price points in order to hit every buyer possible. One person's issue with brand A has nothing to do with brand B, even if they're both owned by Thor or Forest River. They're built by different people, in different factories to different specifications. We hope this overview was helpful to anyone shopping for an RV and stay tuned for lots more videos digging in a bit deeper into some of these individual brands. In the meantime, check out this video on things buyers often overlook or this one that YouTube says is best for you. Make sure to hit the like button if you got value out of this video and hit subscribe for more like it. We'll see you on the next one.